fucking serious. It's like clay as can be. Okay. It's leather. Mold wipes off leather. Okay. <laughs> Welcome back. We're the Reverend Yuggies. <coughs> <coughs> That's Dan. I'm Sean. <coughs> Tonight we have. This is a special occasion. This is a special occasion. This so. is the most specialist of the occasions. This is special occasion squared. Because uh, a, a man once sent us a bottle of Ohio Red Eagle <laughs> bourbon. And I, uh, there, there needs to be a link somewhere to that we'll just, video. We'll just, we'll uh, just some few, highlights, we'll, we'll yeah. Throw, we'll throw a few reactions in. Whoa. Okay, hold on. You know what that smells just like? Tobacco. For real. I'm really on board with that. I smell it was like... It doesn't smell like sweet burden. It smells like a little bit of corn. What in the world is that? Got smashed with some tobacco. Yeah. And then you chipped a tree in there. Ah, that was, that was some special Interesting. Whiskey. But I tell you what, we got given a bottle to try. I don't care good, if it's good bad, or bad. Good, bad, it's very special. I don't care. I love that that bottle will forever sit on the shelf because of that. I don't care what I don't care if it's good or bad. And it's really like pretty, it. so that, that it helps does look too. cool. It's it's an awesome label. So this bottle is a bottle that that same person also sent us. I don't know why. Yeah, man, you're uh, very. Uh, What's the word? Sportive? Awesome? Great? Okay. None of OG? those are all true, but not what I'm looking for. Boom. Mm. What is it like when you're uh, when you're like a giving person? Like, what am I? Like, I'm a giving person? An asshole. Mm -hmm. You're an asshole. Realistically, this bottle um, is a culmination. Yeah, it represents a lot to us. The fact that anybody would watch these videos and then be willing to send us something because of it. Um, I don't know why. It's crazy. Yeah, I don't know. I, it, it's, it's, it's crazy. Everything's been a real big building for us yeah. that every week, really, we try to do new things, improve on video quality or sound yeah. or lighting, anything we can do to bring Getting up- rid of Sean. Constantly. <laughs> he cut my brake lines once. <laughs> uh, <laughs> We've gone through three cars since we started this Jesus. show. Jesus. Reggie? Bow, 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 bow. Reggie, a bush. Um, <laughs> The explosions are probably done now. He sent us this video, or yeah. this this bottle. He sent us the last that uh, Ohio Eagle Red Bourbon uh, farm bottle. Yeah. Um, probably one of the most OG fans of the channel. OG. Hardcore OG. Definitely found us when we were still, like, there's two walls ago of recording. When there was, yeah, yeah, I forgot. Yeah, two walls ago. Yeah, two walls ago of recording. Yeah, OG junkie, man. Yeah. OG junkie. Uh, so. <laughs> A, thank you a crazy. bunch. Absolutely um, crazy. And Insane. then B, I guess that goes into our new announcement. Sure. We're going to start a Patreon. So it'll probably go up uh, oh, God, around this video. It felt, it feels weird. It, so here's, uh, here's the deal. Anything uh, on the Patreon at this point in, in moving forward and less specified yep. otherwise will go towards the channel. The goal realistically is to be able to pay for a bottle of whiskey a month or something like that. Yeah, that'd that, be really cool for us to do. That'd be insane. The, the, the idea would then be that that bottle of whiskey is a Patreon uh, supported video. We'll have, there'll be more details over there. The link will be below. If you choose to support us, that's incredible. It's ridiculous. We don't Thank understand you. it uh, yeah. and it means the world to us. If you don't choose to support us and you still watch these videos and you still like, comment, subscribe, it still yeah. means the world. So and that's cool too. Yeah. If you want to send us samples, um, just email us uh, at bourbonjunk.com or gmail.com. If you want to send us whiskey, do the same thing. It's just below. No, that's not all below. It's below. It's not below. It's below. It's not below. <laughs> yeah. I'm working Did they I'm an comments? engineer. It's not a big deal. Oh. So anyway. Um. <laughs> <sighs> Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> just. So. Tonight, because Reggie sent us this bottle of whiskey, what <laughs> did you miss your mouth? You missed hard, didn't you? I, when I looked over, you were back camming a pretzel into your mouth. So this is probably one of the most beautiful bottles we have. It's it's definitely up there. That bottle's ridiculous. I'm not a big Crown Royal fan. We're not. No. Uh, we aren't even necessarily big Canadian whiskey fans. Yeah, we've, there are a couple. Sure. Uh, I'm not not a fan. I just don't go out of my way to seek it usually. No, uh, the thing pretty I'm, bourbon centricated yeah. on. Uh, centricated is the word for sure. Uh, so not? no, 
Centricated? Crown Royal, 13 year old Blender's Mash or Bourbon Mash. Depending on when you got it, probably. Made up a word. All right, perfect. Yeah. Yep. Crown Royal Noble Collection, Blender's <laughs> Mash. 13 year old. Now. Oh, solid. Crown. Why well, don't like what I'm looking at <laughs> Poor? here. What? I mean, <laughs> I don't know. My hand is Are very wet. Are you even wet. trying? My hand is. <laughs> so listen, I didn't think it was going to come out as fast as it did into mine. So, so she said, A, B. You did it twice though, is the problem. Crown Royal came out <laughs> with a bourbon mash. Uh, literally it said bourbon mash on the front and it was a young, young whiskey. Mm. The bourbon mash was uh, like 40 ish 40 bucks or something. It, was it pretty, blacked out for pretty a minute, cheap. what happened? And, gosh dang it, man. And Woo. they got sued because uh, it was made <laughs> in Canada. Yeah. So they had Can't to change it to Blender's yeah, Mash. Yep. So now they have a 13 year old Blender's Mash. No. Oh my gosh, you're in the wrong place. The normal Blender's Mash. Yeah, that's what it that's says. That's not this, man. This is the special What's one. What's it say? 13 year old Blender's Mash. That's what I just said. Case mm. and point. You know that there's another Blender's Mash. Yeah, that's fine. That but everybody what I hates, said that everybody isn't hates. wrong. I said so, there's now a 13 year old Blender's Mash. Cheers. Okay. So, <laughs> gosh, that, thank God that smells good because I'd be so annoyed. I feel annoyed like wolves are reversed right now. Yeah. <laughs> like, you're trolling. I'm just, yeah, 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 I'm trolling the shit out of you right now. So, they made the normal bourbon slash blenders mash, and everybody agreed that it was terrible. The whole world agreed. Do you think Canadian whiskey can ever be released that doesn't smell like maple syrup? I don't think so. Like, do they just get murdered if they don't do it? No, I think they just have like they to all have to. Apologize. They all. <laughs> I'm sorry. You have two weeks true. of apologizing yeah. to do. Um, so they mm. went above and beyond the younger and cheaper bourbon mash or blenders mash, and they made they put one in the noble collection that's a 13 year. It's a bourbon mash bill, uh, but they're not allowed to call it that because it's Canada. And I tell you what, it smells like somebody mixed bourbon with like a nice, sweet Canadian whiskey. We had had this um, previously, and I told Dan, um, if someone would have handed me this and just let me like get in there, yeah. I'm like, oh, it smells like a good bourbon. Yeah, it does. Like, it really just I would like never good guess. I would never guess Canadian on this, if, I, if it was No, um, there's no way, shape, or form um, that I would have been like, oh, definitely Canadian. And you've seen me be wrong a lot, so. The feelings that you It's agreed. a lot though. Like, let's not pretend. You're gonna pretend like you've never been wrong a lot? But I've been right I should have been lot. like, I, I should have been like, we've been wrong. We haven't. I've been right a lot. Like, I could just clip, 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 clip of me being right. Yeah. This is also on Whiskey Advocate's top 25. I think it was number five of the year. Um, I do believe you might be right on that. Yeah, Orange peel. Am. Orange peel. I don't, I don't disagree. Like when you get in your nose into like a good old fashioned and you're like. Dude, so that's the thing with some nice orange bitters. Yeah, mm -hmm, I do. I completely agree with that. You're gonna hate me for saying this. It's good. But you know what this reminds me of? What? The um, Four Roses Small Batch. Okay, I don't that, think it's as spicy. Uh, it is not, but it reminds me of that flavor profile that we talked about. There was like a spicy citrus almost. Okay. So I get a, like a lot of like cherry up front on the palate. Really rich, like um, I'm, I'm not directly compared to this to Four Roses Small Batch, but I'm saying it's kind of got that feel for me, but it's so much richer. It's a really, really good, like a nice cherry sweetness that uh, fades into some nice, like heavy oak notes that are like, they're not sharp and bitter. Like it's not the overbearing oak. Um, I can't, what's proof on this? 45. It can't be proof then, man. Good. There's some spice built yeah, in there. There's a little spice, yeah. Like it tangles all the way up through. I'm Good. feeling my lips. We have entrapment. And entrapment, the reason entrapment's interesting is because it was aged at Crown Royal's facility. Yeah, but that is a 25 year old high corn, like yeah. 98, 99% it corn. Aged in the same place. Yeah. Way longer. I'll tell you what, instead of aging things for 25 years. Just make that. You could make two of these yeah. in the same amount of time. 
Like these are being 13 years old. It, this, the. I really enjoy that. Yeah. This uh, tastes like <laughs> really good bourbon with a weird, like it, it, it would be really hard to pick out on, if I'm being completely honest. The if Canadian you, twang. If you, it would be <laughs> hard to pick that out if you didn't, if you were blind. No, um, I guarantee you, you could throw me this in a, I, I think Eric said it, you can throw me this in a blind lineup and I would not be able to pick out that's Canadian. Mm -hmm. um, which I feel is very um, atypical of Canadian whiskeys. Yeah. That, I mean, it's just how they're made. Uh, they're a blended whiskey. They're yeah. a little bit more bland. Sorry. Um, the ones we have here are. The ones we've had are. That's just the way yeah, it is. Even it's, entrapment. It's not. I wouldn't say it's insanely complex. But I would. But it's done it's right. So, it, it's so well balanced yeah. throughout the entire thing. There's it's, not a single sharp note throughout the whole. No. Thing. There's. Yeah. You don't get any spiky notes out of it. It's something that felt very well put together. Mm -hmm. It might be the best Canadian whiskey I've ever had in my life. That's definitely the best Canadian whiskey I've had. Um, I don't know what I even put that next it's to. It's weird that it's crown. <laughs> it makes it feel weird. It does. It feels like we put uh, Jack Daniels up against like the best you know, thing ever. It's kind of like, like, you know? yeah. like Jack Daniels Heritage. Yeah. Now that you say that. It's kind of the same idea. We don't like the base product. We do not. But this, these releases were good. That release is this beyond is good. This is legitimately a bummer that this is a limited release. You agreed for that? Mm. We still do that. B plus. Oh wow. Really? You explain that to me. Try to talk me down out of it. You might reach solid A. I know, because I was well, I was rolling at A minus. I'm just down a solid A. So I have B plus bad to because say about of the that. Pro oh, I don't know. It's really close to old like old Forster 1920, and I think that that might be. But that. This is a standalone in its category. That's true. Okay, in its category, like, this is a, a hard A. Yeah. Not a considered and I'm, A. I'm doxing it a Ooh, little bit for a price why? and it's a little bit against what you can buy for it. I get it, but it's still an A for me. This is, like, you're talking this limited release. Yeah. This is Canadian really whiskey. good. It's just whiskey. It's just Canadian. really good whiskey. It is, D but it's. Don't, don't you. Does it don't. go up because Ooh. it's in this category? In my mind, yes. It's Canadian whiskey. This is the best Canadian whiskey that I've had, right? Yeah. We had that JP Weiser's the other night um, that was like 20 some years old. Yeah. That was interesting, but this is better. I like this more. Yeah, I do, I do believe so. Um, um, it like it goes back to being well balanced. It's so well done. If you're into Canadian whiskeys and you can afford this bottle, this would be a good time, this would be a good bottle to move into like more complex things. This would be a good jump from like Canadian whiskey, this, bourbon, yeah. stuff like that. I, I can't come up. As a Canadian whiskey, that's an A, man. Yeah. 65, 70-ish. I like that a lot. By 70. That's an A for me. I don't. I have a hard time. In its category, it's an A. In the grand scheme of whiskey, it's a B plus. I think you manhandled every button on that camera. Sometimes the battery dies. And then Dan changes it like a grizzly bear. Sometimes the Dude, it's not easy. You know what? Hands You're down, right. best bottle I've ever been catching. Oh! Without a <laughs> single doubt in my mind, you are correct, good sir. Sorry, Reg. Um, <laughs> he even said... Sorry he, and thank you. He even um, said, I can't send two poop whiskeys in a row. <laughs> Uh, All right, we got in this video. That's good stuff. Thanks, man. Amazing. We appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, thank real. you so much. Um, yeah, thanks. I, mean, I can't get you support. off that B plus, huh? In in the grand scheme of whiskey? Yeah. Come on. If the nose is better, I go in mine. Uh, oh no, man. Thank you guys for your support. Like, comment, subscribe. We're the Bourbon Junkies. Links to everything down below. I'm Dan. I'm Sean. And you're the best. Thank you again. 100%. Yeah. Have a good night. The proof is in the, the pour. pour.